Snooker Pro Club team presents brand new second video course Snooker Mastery on how to improve overall technique and cue ball control. 22 effective practical ways on how to expand your snooker knowledge and become a decent all-around snooker player. You will get insights and strategies on how to improve cue action, aiming, cue ball control, rest play. You will also learn how to play with a side spin, effortlessly make screw back shots, find proper grip hand position, play doubles, up the cushion shots, and measure cue ball speed correctly. Our snooker training program will give specific practical exercises which will keep you motivated and achieve consistently positive results in the long run. Apply to the Snooker Master training program right now and get a video lesson for free. See ya! How to measure Kibo speed lesson. So we got a, another question for the, our fans and he asked how to measure Kibo speed. It's a great question and I'm very glad that you asked that question because you know you have to have a knowledge how to measure Kibo speed to make a good break building. I will give you basic techniques how to measure your speed and I think you will get better idea and knowledge how to move forward when you hear my tips. Okay, so first, think. When you are delivering cue slowly, I mean, when you have to roll in the shot, your back swing should be small. Short, I mean. So if I need to push the cue ball and make position for the black ball, my back swing should be small, like this. So I will show you an example. In this way, when you're playing short shots, make sure that your back swing is small. If I have a medium distance shot and I need to make a stop shot, here is no need to use a uh, lot of backswing. You just can use a medium pace backswing. And when you play medium uh, pace shots, just use medium backswing and you will be fine. So when I play slow shot, I use small backs and now I have to ha use double backswing. And I have a nice position for the pink ball right now. Okay, if we're talking about hard shots, so if we if we say that 10 points is the maximum cue ball speed uh, or four and a half cushion speed, uh, try to use you know longer backswing, so maximum backswing to the V shape. So the maximum backswing is when you're pulling from your cue ball to your V shape like this. So uh, this will help you to accelerate through the cubo and have a nice cubo speed. So you do a number of feathers and deliver Q through the cubo. Okay, so this is the first thing which you have to understand if you want to have a good cubo speed. Try to control your uh, backswing as you play different shots. When you're playing rolling shots, try to use small backswing. When you're playing medium shots, try to use medium backswing. And when you're playing uh, uh, more than five points out of the 10 uh, uh, cue ball speed, try to use maximum backswing. So it will give you a better idea how to measure cue ball speed. And I think just applying this technique, your understanding about how to measure cue ball speed will increase.